on everybody Jermaine Anderson here and today I want to show you how to create a wedding reception planning sheet now this is usually for DJs who do wedding receptions and want to get an idea of what type of music the client wants the names of the wedding party and other types of things so I'm gonna show you an example of a wedding reception planning sheet that I created and it usually helps me a lot when it comes for me doing the grand entrance introductions, figuring out what kind of music they want for dinner and for the dancing portion of the reception. It also includes um, you know, a questionnaire of what type of things they want within their itinerary. And then we also meet up and try to figure out the timeline and everything. So this is just a uh, little something for myself and I'm sure a lot of other DJs do this as well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you an example of what I created here. Now this is the one that I give the clients either you know, in paper form or electronically. So first of all, right here is cocktail hour dinner music. Now with this, I kind of want to get an idea of what the clients want for dinner and cocktail hour, what kind of music they want. And usually with cocktail hour or dinner music, you want to play something, you know, soft music. So you have options like soft, easy listening, jazz, light classic rock, R&B soul, DJ's choice, and other. They can put down what they want if they want other. And then the next part, I have wedding party entrance introductions, you know, grandparents of the bride, grandparents of the groom, parents of the bride, parents of the groom, flower girl, and ring bearers. And then the entrance song, which you know, I play during the introductions, during the grand entrance, just to get all the names of the people, get bridesmaids, groomsmen, and I also like to have them paired up because I introduce the bridesmaids and the groomsmen in pairs. So I usually have them in pairs. And then matron of honor, best man, get their names, and also how the bride and groom want to be introduced as. So that a lot of that's grand entrance stuff. And I also like to get pronunciations of everybody's names. Just make sure I get the pronunciations right. And then, you know, little questionnaires here, like bride and groom, if they can have a first dance, yes or no. And then if so, if, um, I ask them to give the song and the artist so that I can get access to the song before the event. Uh, and there's a question if would there be a welcome speech if yes who is given it by and then if there's a blessing for dinner before guests eat and then here's the toast uh, we have people doing toast and then they also giving the names of people who are going to be doing the toast and then this part's more of the program they ask if there's a uh, photo montage or slideshow will they have projectors or something will they need me to do any background music during a slideshow or things like that uh, father daughter dance of course and then also they give me the song and artist for that mother son dance is there a bridal party dance and then there's cake cutting uh, is there a thank you toast usually by the wedding couple Bouquet toss, garter toss, and then, you know, the songs for those. And then I also asked if there were any specialty games and dances they want, you know, like dollar dance, uh, shoe game, anniversary dance, etc. Um, there's a few options there. Sometimes they'll want, you know, dollar dance or they'll want, you know, the DJ do a shoe game, which I, I really like because it entertains the guests and it's uh, very funny. And I did it. I done the shoot game a few times. And it's then there's last dance. Whether or not there's gonna be like a final song for last dance before departure. And then also ask would there be any other form of entertainment, which would be like a band or a special act, kinda of give me an idea of is there anybody else performing or if there's other things that we have, you know, within the itinerary. And also, if they need to borrow the equipment or sound system at all. And then I also asked if there's a venue manager who runs the venue. 
I usually like to get their contact in case I need to contact them as well as photographers, videographers. I like to meet up with them, give them an idea of the timeline, make sure things run smoothly so they won't be confused uh, the day of the event and they get an idea of what's going on. And then I have a portion for reception dance music. Um, this part I usually ask about the era, eras, you know, the decades, you know, we got oldies, 80s, 90s, 2000s, the 2010s present. So they can check off what type of eras they want. And then I also have genres, top 40 country, rock alternative, R&B, soul, hip hop, etc. You can see all this stuff here. And uh, let them check what type of genres they want. There may be certain genres that they really want, and then certain ones that they don't want. So that I just let them mark which what type they want. If they're more universal, you know, there's an all of the above, or if there's something else, there's an other. And then playlists. I have space where they, you know, they can write down songs on their either must playlist if they songs that they really really want. They can write them down under the must playlist. Another list is strongly met recommended list. It's something that they really, it's really not must play, but if you have time to play it, you know, they do so play it. Um, this is not actually the must play, but it is just something they recommend having at the way reception. And then there's a do not playlist. There are maybe some songs that they don't want played at the way reception. They write down songs that they don't want played. Whether sometimes, you know, it's maybe some cheesy DJ songs that, you know, you hear DJs play at every reception. Sometimes they probably don't want those played. Or, you know, certain songs that they may deem a little too suggestive or something like that. Um, I usually put that on the, you know, do not playlist. And then other miscellaneous notes they could put down for you know any other notes that they want to let the DJ know about or any suggestions and things like that. So that's pretty much my example of a wedding reception planning sheet. And I did this on Microsoft Word. I just created it myself. But you can go online find little different templates or examples. Kind of gives you an idea of how to create one. So, if you are interested in having a list or a planning sheet, you know, you can, you know, replay the video, check out what I have here, or you can go online and, you know, look at the different types of planning sheets that you create online. So, that's it for this video. Hopefully, you guys learned a few things about this. And make sure you subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to this channel. And also like on social media and go on www.cypressentent.com.